Hi guys! In today's video, I'm trying popular one ingredient slime recipes and two ingredient slime recipes. Before we get into that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to Orb Slimy Cafe for sponsoring this video. They sent me one of their kits and they come with squishies and also all of these cool slime toppings. And they have different names and textures and this one was my favourite. As you can see, it really resembles a typical slime thing. I think it's called a jammies texture. And the best thing about this is that you can add loads of different textures and they separate so easily. They're totally customizable to your preference they make the best bubble pops as you can hear here and then they just separate all of them don't mix together and they're just really fun to mix up and just play with and the squishies are so soft and they don't have a weird smell to them as well which I find a lot of squishies do so I really enjoyed experimenting with this and playing with the Orb Slimy Cafe product find out more in the description for the first method we're going to need some peel off face mask and peel off face mask is great because it contains PVA which is the same thing in glue which helps to make slime and then for our activator we're going to be using Yoki foot powder that makes your feet basically not smell so a lot of you might have this around your homes you guys said that you did and you recommended adding it into glue so I decided to make this no glue and no borax by just using face mask and when I was mixing it in it wasn't pulling away so I was really nervous that it didn't work with the face mask and like you can see here it was still very liquidy so I put it in the freezer for 10 minutes and when it came out it was literally a slime as you can see here I was shocked it really did not look like it was pulling together at all and then all of a sudden it became a slime after 10 minutes so I started playing with it a bit more and it was stretchy but it did melt down the more you were playing with it but I found as soon as you put it back in the freezer it did fix and I decided to customize it with some glitters and like you can see here it looks super pretty added some nice crunches and it acted just like a slime but the only real difference was that this became sticky the more you played with it and it would become sticky in a couple of minutes and if you put it in the freezer for a longer time it wouldn't be sticky at all but it also wouldn't stretch too much so I would say this is a success I I was so impressed as soon as I took it out of the freezer and it was actually a slime so I decided to add this into real slime to see what would happen and I added it into a butter slime and at first it was sticky and then the more I was kneading it it just lost all of its stick and it became a really nice textured doughy slime. After that amazing experience, I decided to move on to another one that I was really excited to try and this is using palm olive dish soap and also egg whites. And apparently the egg whites are meant to kind of, you know, activate it, pull it all together and I've always found with dish soap things, apart from when you add in cornstarch, that this just doesn't work. Dish soap for me is always awful. We don't have Dawn over here so maybe that's the issue but people told me that palm olive oil would work. And like you can see here, it didn't. I put it in the freezer, it didn't kind of come together. I then put it in the fridge, it didn't come together. It just froze at the side. So this is definitely a fail. And then I used stick gum. And again, this was one that I was very excited to try just because obviously gum is quite sticky in your mouth. So I did think this would become a slime very easily. And it did, I just kept dipping it in the warm water. I guess it was kind of acting like a mouth chewing and it became very stretchy. So I had to do the will it slime test and I added it into normal slime. And I made sure this is sugar free. So I thought it wouldn't melt and I thought it would become really nice but the slime actually melted and the gum was just like stringy in it, it didn't mix it. So then I moved on to the most recommended method I ever have gotten ever and this is adding Play-Doh and shaving foam and Play-Doh methods again are one that never work when you add it into normal slime it melts down so I knew even if this did work I wouldn't be trying Will It Slime because it, it sucks, do not ever do that. But when I was mixing in it was very hard to mix in at first because Play-Doh has a really unique texture so when I was mixing this in I had to like push it down onto the table and like smush it for it to even start to and I did find this was very nice and doughy it didn't stretch but it was really really fun to play with in your hands it was definitely a lot more different from the original play-doh texture so I would say this is kind of a success but yeah I was not willing to try will it slime with this Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you at the end of this week.